Hey guys, how's it going? Now in the last video I showed you guys how you could write a little bit of code that could return the values of the Fourier coefficients of the Fourier series. And we call the function Fourier and it had three arguments. The L argument that was the half of the period of the function, then N the number of coefficients that the user wanted, and F the function that was to be represented by the Fourier series. And this function returned three arguments that was a not the first co Fourier coefficient, then A was which was a matrix or a vector that stored the values of the uh, A nth Fourier coefficient. Then similarly, B was a matrix or a vector that stored the values of the values of the B nth Fourier coefficient. And in case you forgot what the Fourier series looked like, then here's um, what it looks like. So the Fourier series for a function f of x defining the period minus l to l and such that its period is twice of l then the Fourier series looks like this and then we use these uh, values of these coefficients uh, to calc um, we use these expressions to calculate the uh, Fourier coefficients from this code now in this video I'm gonna show you how you can even plot the Fourier series approximation using the coefficients that you have calculated now in order to plot the Fourier series approximation what you will have to do is you will need to create this function right here. Now since we already have these coefficients that is the a0, the an and the bn coefficients so it would not be a very tough job rather it would be a very simple job for us. So what I have done is I have just taken this older function called Fourier and I have renamed the function Fourier plot and let me just edit this thing right here okay so now I have renamed the function um, to Fourier plot and as you can see it has the same output arguments and the same input arguments and the code is also similar to my previous function up till this end line so up till here the code is pretty simple it calculates the value of a naught and a n and b n now to calculate the Fourier series we have created another function called solution which is a function of x and it returns the Fourier series and how it does that is um, I have you know it, uh, made series which is the output variable equal to a0 by 2 that is the first Fourier coefficient divided by 2 then from i is equal to 1 to n and where n is the number of Fourier coefficients that the user as um, asked us to calculate the Fourier series for so up till n the series becomes series that that is a naught by 2 since series is already equal to a naught by 2 so a naught by 2 plus when i is equal to 1 plus a of 1 times cos 1 pi x by l plus b of 1 times c sine 1 pi x by l then at the second iteration um, since series is already equal to all of that at the second iteration the series will become the already uh, the values that we already have plus a2 that is the second Fourier coefficient for a a2 cos 2 pi x by l plus b2 sine 2 pi x by l and so on up till n so I hope you got that portion or, or the part of the program so this function solution of x right here is what calculates this Fourier series that is shown right here now to plot this function or Fourier series that I have just calculated I have you know defined some x values that is from x takes up values from minus 5 of l to 5l with a step interval or step width of 0.1 and then I have just plotted this graph of these of the Fourier series versus x okay so let's let me just execute this function by clicking right here and head over to my scilab console okay so let's say I have a function f of x which returns x so basically it is f of x equals x now let's say I call this function Fourier plot to give me the Fourier coefficients as well as plot the 
graph of the Fourier series that it has calculated. And let's say that the period of my function is 4, therefore the half of the period would be 2, so I will enter the first argument as 2. And let's say I want to calculate the Fourier series for 5 coefficients, and then let's just enter the function and hit enter. Now, voila, and you get the Fourier series approximation of x with a period of 4 and that's how it looks with just 5 coefficients. Now remember that x is a is an odd function therefore you get the first two coefficients that is the a0 and all the a n s coefficients to be 0. Now in my previous video I already explained why so I would like you to think it over why we are getting these as 0 and if you don't get it then you should check out my previous video so and let's try in uh, let's first clear the screen the graphical screen by giving the ground clf and now let's try to plot the Fourier series for um, a little more number of coefficients let's say 20 this time now as you can see this time the plot is still a little better than the previous one it is much straighter in the middle however there is still some zigzag lines towards the end of the period so just keep on increasing the number of coefficients and the quality of the graph would keep on getting better and better and it would be more you know like the original function so let's say i've calculated for a hundred coefficients now this is gonna take some time okay so I forgot to clear my previous previous graph so let me just give the command again okay so now let's calculate it for a hundred coefficients and as you can see it is a much better graph this time there's only a small wiggly curve at the end right here however at the in the middle it is way straighter than before so what you can do is you can just keep on increasing the number of coefficients and let me just clear this previous graph first of all by giving the CLF command and now let me increase the number of coefficients to 500 and it's taking some time which it should considering the large number of computation involved in calculating the 500 Fourier coefficients but let's just wait it out and see if the quality of the graph improves and here we have the graph and as you can see this is even even better than the graph that I got with 100 coefficients so that's what the Fourier series is for I mean if the more is the number of coefficients up till you calculate the Fourier series the better is the approximation to the original function and that's how you can calculate the Fourier series using this code right here and then you can even plot the Fourier series that you have calculated. Well, that's it for today and thanks for watching the video. I hope you understood the video and you liked it. And don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.